Well, Jen and Tom, this is some pretty interesting stuff. It's all part of reforms that were put in place by the Police Accountability Commission. Right now, 260 New Hampshire State Police Cruisers are equipped with these cameras. Nearly all troopers have the cameras on their body. So this is how it all works. The cameras that the troopers are wearing are actually connected to their smartphones. Those smartphones go into a pocket that is within their uniform. They're snapped right into place. Now the cameras are activated when a trooper either taps that camera three times. They also have a switch that is located on their belt or these cameras are also activated anytime a trooper removes their gun from their holster. Now, as for the dashboard cameras, well, they're activated anytime a cruiser uh, turns on their blue lights or if there is a strong impact to that cruiser, such as a car accident. Within the first day of field use in one of our field troops, we had a complaint and an exoneration within two hours. And so we're really grateful for that because the camera just helps to show what the interaction was, what its nature was, and whether or not our troopers are conducting themselves in accordance with our expectations. And now also today, the executive council approved funding for body cameras and dashboard cameras for local police departments. We'll explain more on that coming up at six. For now, reporting live in Concord, I'm Tim Callery, WMUR News 9.